Dreams do come true. Alice Chun proves that. She's the CEO and inventor of Solite Designs. Happy to have you on the show as you share your tips on how you were able to get your product into Whole Foods. Thank you for coming on our show. Thank you for having us. We're so excited to be here and we're, we can't wait to share our tips. You have a terrific product. It's a collapsible light you can take anywhere. It runs on solar power and now it's on sale at Whole Foods. So what's the first thing that people need to do to maybe have that big product that makes it? Well, the first thing is don't try to go it alone. You need a team to, to back you up and help you. You need a product that everyone loves. And um, the other thing that you need to do is make sure that you have an online presence. Make sure you're on Amazon first because all of the buyers from these big retail stores like Whole Foods, check that out first. Let's break this down. The first step you say is to have a well-respected sales agent. How do you make sure that it's somebody who's not going to steal your idea? One way to make sure that you have a well-respected sales rep is to already have people that have been vetted already, that have already been um, dealing with these organizations, these different stores, and vet them before you actually take them on as a sales rep. You also say it's very critical to have an online presence. So what does that mean? Have a website built up? What yes, else? Yes, absolutely. You need to have a really great website that's easy to navigate so that you can see just how great the product is and also make sure that you're on Amazon first because those buyers always check to make sure that you are already in the market. So the buyers are doing the research on you the Absolutely. minute you go to the buyer. Absolutely. Now you also say it's important to be unique and find that product with a wow factor. How did you know you had a product with a wow factor? Well, uh, when I first invented it, it was really for disaster relief after the Haiti earthquake. But as soon as I started showing uh, moms or people that were outdoorsmen, they just love the product for camping, um, for their home, for their garden. Children absolutely love our product. So um, the novelty of having a light that flat packs makes it easy to transport. You save on shipping costs. And the, the pop-up factor, you don't have to inflate it with your mouth. To, uh, it basically just self-inflates into a magic cube. So that, that was one of the things, and plus it was solar. So know your retailer. And exactly. you say you have to be armed with lots of sales data, at least as much as you can get. And I know in the early stages, this is not always so easy to prove that people are buying your product and how well it's going, correct? Well, we were very lucky because our sales data included a Kickstarter where we actually raised almost half a million dollars in 30 days through our Kickstarter campaign. So that helped a great deal as well. Now you say you have to be aggressively patient. What does that mean? Well, the thing about uh, retail stores is that there are a ch there is a chain of command where you have to have different people look at your product. There's different committees that look at your product, and that takes a long time for people to actually go through that whole process. So definitely, patience is absolutely critical. And then what about the aggressive part? Are you calling? Are you making phone calls, or do you leave them alone? We actually left them alone, but uh, we left it to our wingman, our sales rep, to do all of that, um, that hounding in terms of getting back to the retailer and getting updates. So uh, you have to leave it to that one point person to have that relationship. Now, it's also important, you say, to start small. So maybe even a craft fair or something like that. Just get yes. your product out there, correct? Absolutely. Uh, we were very lucky that our first retail store was MoMA Design Store and they loved our product because of the design. And last but certainly not least, you have to close the deal. So what did you do to have that happen? Well, oddly enough, um, Whole Foods loved the product, but they actually didn't have a space for it in the store per se and they sent it to a distributor. Is there anything you would do differently? Love to have talked to the Whole Foods um, committee and um, been able to pitch our product myself. But I think in terms of um, being respectful of and uh, 
responsive to a set of a system, an ecosystem of buyers and distributors and, and sales reps, um, letting that system work for itself was um, essential. Good to know because it sounds like Whole Foods is more comfortable maybe talking to these reps than the average Joe, or yes. do you think maybe it's possible to make that happen anyway? Yes, I, I completely agree that it, it is a kind of language that you have to learn over a series of, of years of experience, and so you need to use that for to your advantage. Thank you for being on our show and sharing your Thank you for being on our show and sharing all this tremendous information. Thank you for having me. It's just a pleasure to be here.